and uh, basically this film is about these two people uh, let's call them a saint and a beast uh, one a very a simple god fearing man to the other person is a nihilistic a corrupt man love thrillers and i love characters which are dark but that doesn't mean that i am going to make only those kind of films it's it's probably a certain side of me yeah, both of them are uh, share a great relationship here like uh, Nasir Saab is very fond of Randeep and Randeep has immense respect for Nasir Saab. Obviously, as a writer or a director, try to create that balance which uh, uh, is woven in the story. We have got pretty interesting feedbacks, uh, be it regarding about the unusual pairing of Nasir Saab and Randeep. To uh, people have liked the. Uh, a trailer a lot the theatrical trailer and all the promos it trended pretty good on youtube and other social networking sites and uh, yeah but till now the reports have been pretty positive if you know everything about a thriller then what is so intriguing about it so the when the when at times there are films that you know where you can enter open up the uh, story line only when you know that it uh, doesn't the film uh, doesn't uh, rely on surprises but it relies on the play or the drama so it depends on the nature of the film that how much of the film you want to open and how much you want to hide so and the film is a thriller drama and basically this film is about these two people uh, let's call them a saint and a beast one a very a simple god fearing man to the other person is a nihilistic a corrupt man and uh, uh, there is there are certain uh, one particular event which uh, sets them on this uh, journey where uh, eventually their paths cross and they take a bit of each other yeah i completely agree with you because when i was writing the script uh, and when you choose to make a certain kind of film or you writing or choose to write in a certain kind of script like, eh, an idea or a plot or something excites you but when you are writing then you give a lot of yourself to those characters and to the uh, scenes and uh, it depends on what state of mind and emotional state you are in So when I was writing this film, uh, I was extremely angry about many things. So you see all that anger and all these uh, characters in this film. Yeah, I think it's the script because Nasir Sahab ke liye to bahut matter jo karta hai first is the script. And he's a very instinctive person and he goes by instincts. So, but after reading it, then he would like to discuss things with the director. Wants to know. what is this film all about and what is that we are trying to see in the scenes and stuff once he gets that clarity so uh, i think it's it, it hasn't been that difficult but we had to go through some little bit of process and he was on he was on board and same was the case with randi though he had little apprehension that you know he had uh, one more cop so, but uh, the cop is just a profession Okay, the character is something else. This character is made up of many dimensions, and so once he heard uh, uh, the way I am looking at the character, so he was completely game for it. Yeah, both of them are uh, share a great relationship. Yeah, like uh, Nasir Saab is very fond of Randeep, and uh, Randeep has immense respect for uh, Nasir Saab. So calls him a guru. To they are more like friends too, and. is and uh, everything super she plays this uh, character's name is tabassum she is this iranian woman an alcoholic a self destructive woman uh, with uh, a dark past and she is uh, uh, madly uh, and uh, to the point of obsessively in love with uh, randeep in the movie and uh, that's where the drama of uh, their particular track comes from love thrillers and i love characters which are dark but that doesn't mean that i am going to make only those kind of films it's it's probably a certain side of me which is dark so and i personally uh, love these kind of characters and to me if you say that you know very uh, see there is something about people those who are damaged goods from inside out there is something about them something far more layered and interesting that you want to Uh, explore and so and yeah while writing it i wasn't thinking about any commercial aspect of, of it or non commercial aspect of it and uh, i just went by my own uh, uh, instinct that you know yeah i want to do a film like this 
I want to write a film like this. I want to make a film like this. It just happens. So. See, no, no, there is one, one thing. Fortunately, is that both Nasir Sam and Randeep, they have a great understanding of the script in their characters. So, unfortunately, it was not a pressure on me that uh, ki my scenes have to be more, his scenes have to be less. No, they just look at that ki how the script or the story is flowing. Now, obviously, as a writer or a director, try to create that balance, which uh, uh, is woven. In the story. If I had to make, if I had to think of all these aspects, then I would have made a so-called safe film, where I think no film is safe unless and until it is appreciated by the audience and eventually they decide. So I would have then made it into a certain way that uh, then there is a comedy track and then there is uh, six songs and there is an item number. No. So if you are doing something which is not so regular, you might as well stick to your unconventionality of the movie is. And secondly, I think films like this have been made in the past too. And they were uh, appreciated and they were liked by the audience. Yeah, but every film has a certain reach. It will reach only till the point where it can reach. So I was perfectly uh, fine with the idea of, you know, wanting to make it the way it is. Because, see, first of all, a thriller, your entire challenge is to make it gripping. Okay, and to make it emotionally gripping, to make it the mind of the audience uh, very engaged to the film. And if uh, uh, somebody thinks that, you know, just by trying to give them relief, why do you want a relief in a thriller? A few people told me that, you know, there is no relief. I said, you know, the very idea of uh, thriller is that, you know, they shouldn't uh, get relief. Then otherwise, what's the point of a thriller? So I think that, you know, I'm happy that, you know, the film, I'm happy with the film the way it is. I think for, for me, be it any genre of film, first key thing should be that uh, the film has to be engaging. And the film has to have certain uh, uh, novelty in it, especially films like this, which people would feel that, you know, yes, we have seen something new or something interesting and I think that you know this film has whoever has seen it has given us a feedback that it's an extremely engaging experience and something what they have not seen few scenes before to eventually what is the takeaway of the film and what does it try to say or what comment it leaves what feeling it leaves you with so I think that you know I'm sure that people are going to like this film